JBI has been a research institute since 1996, born out of the Royal Adelaide Hospital and now at the University of Adelaide. It's a not-for-profit organization with over 75 centers and groups, over 7,000 members in over 47 countries. These are some snapshots I took with last time I was in Adelaide. Uh, it's a beautiful city. I highly recommend you go if you've not been already. That one at the bottom, that little blob in the tree, that really is a koala bear. They really do exist in Australia. Uh, they're, they're darling little beasts. And, and JBI has a beautiful new center in um, a lovely, lovely university setting. You can see here that all of the areas on this globe that are blue are, are areas that have a JBI presence of some sort, a center, several centers. Um, so you can see that there's, there's a, a wide coverage globally, um, which is part of what makes a collaboration so special and makes it so strong. So now, JPI is not the only sort of online database of systematic reviews. Of course, many are aware of Cochrane. Cochrane collaboration comes out of Oxford. And they really are about quantitative health science reviews with a strong biomedical bend. Campbell collaboration out of Norway focuses on quantitative social science reviews. And then JBI out of Adelaide, Australia, really focuses on qualitative and quantitative health science reviews. And I want to pause for a moment and just give a little nod to Dr. Alan Pearson, who was the executive founding director of JBI. He once told me proudly that uh, JBI is known for their pluralistic vision of evidence. And it is so true, and that's one of the things I find so pleasing about working with JBI. Not only is, does it have a space at the table for qualitative and quantitative, which is unusual in and of itself, but it also, JBI accommodates all levels of evidence for a systematic review. You can do a systematic review looking at just text and opinion papers uh, because maybe there is no research evidence yet on that subject. And that's so powerful because in healthcare, there are many emerging and evolving conditions like say MERS is topical right at the moment that are sort of moving quickly and we may not have science on it yet but yet we still may need to do something in healthcare to address that issue so there in fact we can do a systematic review through JBI looking at sort of lower forms of evidence because that's the best available evidence we have in the moment so this is the JBI model and pleases me very much. It's a great model. You'll see evidence-based practices in the center of the model, which if you recall is the three-legged stool, so evidence, context, and client preference or judgment. Um, but the mission of JBI is to promote and improve global health. So that starts with healthcare evidence generation, which is that sort of purple quadrant. Um, and that is about primary research. And JBI really, they have their finger in many things, but that's the one that they sort of don't have their finger in. They really do uh, rely on primary research to be generated around the globe. But once that primary research is generated, that's when JBI can spring into action with the green quadrant because that's when evidence can be synthesized. So that's when people who have been trained to do comprehensive systematic reviews can go and do systematic reviews on that primary research that's been generated. But that alone is not sufficient. JBI, remember, is about improving global health. So that means it has to get, that information from that systematic review has to get in the hands of clinicians in order to make a difference. It's not just an academic exercise where you put the systematic review on a shelf and say, great, I'm glad I did that, now I can move on with my life. That's not the point. The point is that it now needs to go into the clinician's hands, which is the evidence transfer piece in blue, and then it needs to actually be used to change practice, and that's the red piece. So that's, that's so important to actually make a difference. It means all of those pieces need to be in place.